The silverfin pentathlon is back, bigger and better than before. The global pandemic halted the annual event that started in 2017 and ran for three consecutive years. This is the fourth edition and over 400 swimmers from 20 clubs across Uganda, Kenya and Rwanda will compete in the 50-meter race events of breaststroke, butterfly, freestyle and backstroke as well as the individual medley race that combines all four strokes. Swimmers from all age categories from six years will participate. Silverfin captain Apire Namanya is expecting his teammates to put up a good performance with improved times. My expectations for this competition is for everyone in the club to make their personal best. We're not really aiming for top, top, top positions because we're low in numbers, but we're aiming for personal best as by this year. The Silverfin Academy administration is thrilled for the swim meet and expect spectators to turn up at the Kampala Parents School in Naguru this Saturday, 11th May, 2024. We are hosting the biggest pentathlon this weekend at uh, Kampala Parents School, and we expect more than 400 swimmers, including clubs from outside the country. We expect Marco Sharks from Rwanda and some other clubs from Kenya. And we invite all swimming clubs in Uganda to come and support us, but also come and have fun. We are really excited about what we are going to see at the gala. Uh, in this edition, we are having all swimmers swimming the four strokes plus an individual medley. And we are looking forward to seeing the techniques from the different swimmers. We know that there's been a lot of improvement this year because uh, swimmers are really putting in a lot uh, to ensure that they improve their skill. So we're looking forward to that uh, and we hope that we shall see you there. Yes, the pentathlon swimming event is going to be a great spectacle this weekend at the Kampala Parents School in Naguru. We just can't wait to see what so many Ugandan athletes will, will do when they enter the waters. I'm Marshall Miro reporting live here in Naguru for UBC News.